Hey guys, it's Graham, aka VSG Graham. I've got my new tooth in. Um, I'm getting more work done um, to wipe my teeth. I was a heavy smoker uh, for most of my life. I stopped smoking three years ago. I was smoking 80 cigarettes a day. Um, and I thought it was time for a change. And I couldn't keep up with the amount of money I was spending. Um, so my teeth are yellow, um, so he's got to come and sort that and uh, do com some com cosmetic stuff. Uh, I'm really find it hard to talk. Um, what else? Yeah, I went to the hospital last week. Um, I'm, I've got an appointment through for September the 5th to see my surgeon again. And on that day, he's got to give me a, a a, a, a time and date for uh, to fit the to fit the, to do the DS to do a dino switch um, and I'm looking forward to that uh, I want to thank Janine for answering my questions and doing the, the video for me on the do dino switch maths and um Often to help me with any questions I might have. Um, she's really, really um, helped me. I, I make the decision to have the, the DS, to be honest with you. Um, I've watched all her videos, I've watched all her pages' videos. Um, I was going to start watching, um, is it Wine Lover Tom? Uh, his videos to. Um, you know, just get the fuel for the the switch. Um, I had lost another six pounds. Was it six? Yeah, six pounds. Um, the surgeon was, you know, he was really happy with me. Um, he was over the moon with how much I've lost so far. Uh, he was looking forward to doing the operation for me. He's actually spoke to one of his old friends uh, who is named as the only surgeon who's been vetted on the DS Fax, I think it's dsfax.com website. Um, and he's very experienced at doing, doing the DS, so the both of them are going to do my operation. Um, what else have I got to tell you? Oh yeah, I got a appointment through. I spoke to my nurse Louise, and um, she had suggested that the well, she she was telling me that at the meeting they were the have every day uh, after I had been um, the psychologist piped up, and she would like to come for me to go and see her just to see how I'm getting on. Um, before the, the switch so I've got an appointment to see her next month um, I told Louise I just thought she was touting for business like a wee prostitute um, I never said like a wee prostitute but that's how I feel like um, I feel like they struggle to get business you know what I mean? Um, and I, I just feel that she's only seen me just so that she's got something to do. Um, but, you know, I'm happy to do and um, I'm just a wee bit sometimes. Uh, what else have I got to tell you? I think that's it. I think that's it. So... <coughs> Excuse me, the the surgeon's um, trying to get me in for December or January. Um, I've got a wee bit of a, a problem with January because I don't know. I'm a bit. Um, a lot of people in my family have died in January. Um, so I'm a wee bit superstitious about January. I don't know why. Um, but 
uh, you know, if it's for me, it'll not go by me. That's um, the motto I, I live by. You know, if I have to have it done in January and it happens, oh well, you know, I'll not be here to worry about it. Um, anyway, I, I'm just looking forward to getting it done. I'm trying to do as much research as possible. Um, I've not really had time to look at videos and comment on videos much lately um, because me and um, Sarah, my wife, I try to get as much decorating done as possible but my, my mind says I can do it but my body's not ready yet. Um, I'm really struggling. I um, had to... <laughs> She had to sit me down and give me a, like a, a sugary drink the other day. I, I nearly collapsed. Um, it, it really depressed me because, you know, this house hasn't been decorated for years because both myself and Sarah suffer by, for bad backs. Um, so it really has to be done bit by bit and... Um, I, do you know it's embarrassing for me? I don't like having a, a house that isn't decorated, and it's really frustrating when you do a job for a living, or you've done a job for a living, look decorating, um, and you love to transform places, and you can't do it for your own house because you've not got the the strength or the energy. Um, but I'll get there in the end. You know, I'm, I'm positive about that. Um, life's only getting better and better and better. I, I, I can't complain about, you know, it's the best thing I've ever done, getting the operation. And, you know, for a long time I sweated over the small things, you know. Um, being a man, um, I knew that one of the problems that I did have was the fact that somebody was got to stick a hose up my willy. And um, and I know that sounds weird, but when I woke up for the operation and I had done it, um, just just for men out there watching, they put it in while I was sleeping, so I didn't feel it going in. And when I woke up for my operation, it was like bliss, knowing that it was in there and that I could just drink as much as possible and just lay there. Um, I know, pure laziness. Um, so, I mean, like, silly things like that, I'm really disappointed with myself that, sorry, I'm really disappointed with myself that um, I let that bother me. That was one of my main things. And, you know, it, I, at the, the time came when it, it was to come out and I had like a nurse and a student nurse uh, and in fact it was the student nurse's first day um, standing there while I was to get my catheter out <laughs> and I had said to the student nurse you know you can do it if you want um, they've got to learn somewhere and I just thought to myself, you know, in for a penny, in for a pound, I'm not going to... Because I had seen <clears throat> a lot of guys refusing to have the, the student nurse um, take, you know, blood for them or, you know, do certain things for them. So I just said, you know, do you want to do it? Or, and uh, there was something else I can't remember. Or oh, taking out my one of my drains, I said to her, like, she looked a bit worried but it says you know you can take one of my drains out if you want um, and what she did and I gave her praise to get you know gear a wee confidence boost so my point being that I don't know I went off on a wee tangent there but what I'm saying is um, all the things that I was worried about I shouldn't have been um, getting a hose up my willy and I, I, one thing I did watch was getting up uh, see people getting operations when in fact you just go to sleep and wake up and it's done um, 
I don't see the point of, you know, I was like, oh my God, I'm going to get this done, I'm going to get that done. But then I just came to realise, I'll be sleeping. I'll not see all that. Um, so what's the point in worrying? And that's a thing that I think you need to come to terms with, is that stop sweating over the small things. I mean, you've got to get the operation. The operation has got to save or change your life forever. Um, and you'll not be seeing all the gory things that you think might be happening behind the scenes. And um, Trust me, getting a hose up your well is the least of your worries, you know. Um, although, out of everything, that was the most nippy um, when I was getting it pulled out and it nipped it stung a wee bit. Um, who'd have thought that? I, I've got like a scar for hip bone to hip bone and that never ate one bit, not one bit, but getting a hose pulled out of my willy, that stung a wee bit. But not enough for you to be screaming, it was just like, oh, look at my new tooth. That's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, I like that. Looks quite natural. <clears throat> so, anyway, um, that's it, that's all I've got for you. I'm just talking a load of mints now. So, um, thanks to the new subscribers. I really appreciate that you've come and um, subscribed to me. Um, I don't normally subs subscri subscribe back um, unless you've made a video. There's no point. What's the point? Um, and uh, I hope you enjoy my channel. I hope you get something fair. So um, that's it, guys. That's all I've got to tell you. Um, do you know, I might do a thing like um, Monica, MSD Experience 2011. I think it is. Monica 2012. I can't remember. <clears throat> Where, you know, you can ask me anything. In fact, why don't we just do that now? Um, I'm just going to fully on what Monica did. Um, you can ask me anything. Um, and if you state your name and where you're from, and um, I'll answer anything. So, all right, guys. I'll speak to you soon. Tara, Bye-bye.